Hey guys, Kathleen Penner here. I am so excited that you are joining us today. I am going to be meeting with Star Clippers, and this is the first opportunity I've had to meet with them. They are beautiful, beautiful sailing ships. They're legitimately a sailing ship. Um, they don't use their engines if they can really help it unless they're stuck. So they said about 80 to 90% of the time, it's all they go with the way of the wind. And I'm really excited to bring you this great brand overview. So we're just gonna hop aboard and dive right in. So let's go. and welcome to this week's cruise chat. I'm Kathleen Penner, owner of Plenty of Sunshine Travel, and today I'm joined by Fernanda, and I'm really excited to meet with her. Uh, she's from Star Clippers, and this is the first opportunity I've had to meet with your cruise line. I'm really excited. I love bringing in new cruise lines, as my subscribers all know, and uh, all my clients know I just love cruising, and I'm excited to learn more about your brand. We're going to do a great brand overview since it's our first time. Um, normally, I'd refer you guys back to the place playlist and look at those but this is going to be the first one so stay here it's, it's going to be awesome so i'm just going to turn it over to you and i can't wait to learn about star clippers amazing thank you very much kathleen hello everyone i'm so glad to be here and so excited to introduce you to this uh, very different experience because we say we are not a typical cruise this is unique sailing adventures right oh, uh, you can see here in this first picture already our ships, they are gorgeous, and you can compare with the other yachts how big they are, right? So we are going to go into uh, those details, but we have three beautiful ships in our fleet. And just to start with, I would like to share a quick video with you for you to have an idea about the experiences you're going to get uh, sailing with us, okay? So a quick video to start. Oh my goodness yes and i love that somebody was laying on one of those cargo nets and just yeah. having the surf hitting them that is amazing experience wow that, that awesome. is amazing and actually it's a sailing ship so you don't have the motoring so most of the times you're going to see a lot of dolphins playing around so you're very close to the ocean that's an amazing amazing experience we are going to go to this special spot which is my favorite spot in the ship <laughs> yes oh okay. that's incredible Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get started and uh, know about what makes Star, Clip Star Clippers uniquely different and unrivaled, right? So yes, you have seen in the video, we are authentic sailing. It's not about a typical cruise. We are near replicas of the clipper ships from the golden age of sailing. So we have three ships, as I told you, the biggest one, which is the Royal Clipper, and we have two smaller ones, the sister ships, Star Clipper and Star Flyer. And what makes us different is because we are actually a sailing boat. So between 60% and 80% of the time, we are moving the ship with the power of wind only. Okay, wow. so that's a completely different experience. All of our journeys are created with wind charts to use the wind as much as we can. 
Okay. Oh, wow, that's great. It's neat. Yeah, we say we were green before green was a trend, right? So that's <laughs> really important sustainability for us. Yes. And actually, we have just won another award from World Cruise Awards of the Green uh, Green Cruise Line, the world's best green cruise line, oh, and wow. also the world's best uh, booty cruise line. So two uh, new award awards that you have just won like two weeks ago. Okay? Oh, that's incredible. Wow. And because we are small, we go to places that the other ships do not go, right? For, for instance, this picture is Milos in Greece. And of course, in Greece, we go to Mykonos and Santorini because uh, it's important. Those are beautiful islands and clients want to see them. But we also go to the tiny little islands. So for you to have an idea, we go to 27 Greek isles. Okay, so very unique and tiny little ones. Mm -hmm. And those ports are not accessible to big ships. So that makes a big difference. So few mm -hmm. crowds uh, over there and very long in port. We stay very long in port for really you, you have the time to enjoy the destination as much as you can. Oh, that's great. And I like that, too, because a lot of times ports become North Americanized. Um, yeah. You know, I can't tell you the amount of times that I've left kind of the cruise ship area and I see a Burger King or a Taco yeah. Bell. And I'm like, what is that doing down here? It just made me like oh that's weird yeah. um so i love that it's like authentic ports you're there to explore the destinations and why not go to the ones that are our true destinations and i think that that's okay. really wonderful it is it is and you're gonna have really an amazing service on board really our crew uh they will offer a personalized and friendly server they are always anticipating uh our guests needs the, on the second day they're gonna know the names the, the preferences etc so they're really an amazing crew mm -hmm. and the ambience on board is very casual you're on vacation so stress-free vacation no jackets or ties are ever required you're just going to enjoy uh, the, the week or more, mm -hmm. one week or more with us in the ocean. Uh, you're going to dine very well with Star Clippers, mm -hmm. that's for sure. We have an international cuisine uh, with Michelin trained chefs and all our, our meals are included in the pricing. OK, so we have breakfast, lunch, snack in the afternoon and dinner as well, which are uh, included. We also include water, coffee and tea. Uh, however, the other drinks are not exp not included. We are not an all-inclusive product, mm -hmm. but for you to have an idea, our prices are very reasonable. Okay. We are talking about a $4 uh, a, a beer, a oh, $5 goodness. a glass of wine. Uh, so it's really, really reasonable. Okay? Mm -hmm. And first perk, if you book with Kathleen, which is a very uh, important and uh, uh, supplier for us, you're going to get $150 credit on board per cabin. Okay, yes. so this perk is very uh, special. So mm -hmm. you can spend, of course, with drinks, but also short excursions, massage, mm -hmm. etc. Awesome. Wow. Uh, smooth sailing. That's very important because when the clients, uh, when you see our, our pictures, you say, oh, my God, this ship looks gorgeous. I want to do it, but I'm afraid to get seasick. Some people are afraid to get seasick. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something, uh, most likely you're not going to get seasick. Why not? Because sailing vessels sit very deep in the water. So we are cutting through the waves and we do the movement like a rocking chair. We are moving backward and forward. And this movement actually calms our inner body. What makes us sick is when you go side to side. This right. movement makes us sick, right? So yes. sailing vessels, we sit very, very deep in the water and we cut through the waves. So usually people who get seasick, even in the big ships, mm -hmm. they do not get seasick on ours because well, of really this good. different type of movement. Exactly. Yeah, that's a great point, actually. As you're saying, like you go with the wind and all the times that my stomach has kind of rebelled um, when I've been on a ship, you're going against the wind and you're exactly. getting rocked and, and buffeted. So, wow, that's OK. That's amazing. Yeah, uh, it's a sort of people quick usually <laughs> don't know that. But yeah, yeah, that's the difference. If you're I mean, sailing, it's the movement is different. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we always say bring your own medicine, but most likely you're not going to use them. OK, <laughs> that's that's for sure. And really, the experience that we offer is like your own private yacht. Mm -hmm. And who doesn't want that? Right. So no lines, no crowds and very few decisions on board. Mm -hmm. 
uh, talking about life on board, and that's uh, the the picture that you've seen in the video as well. This is actually my first, uh, my favorite spot in the ship, uh, because you can really relax. The perfect spot for reading a book or having a, a cocktail. Mm -hmm. And you love cruising. I love cruising, and I I think your your guests as well. And yeah. when you're in the cruise, we always have like ocean view, right? But sometimes you're very far from the ocean. Mm -hmm. And with Star Clippers, what makes us different? Again, we are very close to the ocean. And that feeling that you're really above the sea is magical. And as I told you, especially in the Caribbean, you're going to see a lot of dolphins playing around. It is a magical moment. Yes. Uh, we have an open seating dining, uh, mm -hmm. so we can accommodate all the guests at the same time, no specific time uh, to eat and where to sit. So really an open seating dining in this very elegant uh, dining room. Yeah. And how and many we guests also are on board, say, the, the largest ship, the Royal Clippers? Yeah, um, uh, we're going to talk about later oh, on, okay. but 114 okay. guests, uh, cabins and 227 guests. But we, uh, we're going to go into the, yeah. those My details. Apologies. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So open bridge policy. So if you would like to learn more about the itinerary, the sailings, this is a very special ship. So people usually uh, like to go uh, to talk with the cabin. So we have an open bridge, pal uh, open bridge policy. So you can learn a lot about this itineraries and sailings. We also have, if you're brave enough, you can climb the mast. So that's a very unique uh, activity that is already included. You are over 100, and, 100 feet high, so you're going to have an amazing view of the ship and the surroundings. It's a, a beautiful, a beautiful activity to do it on board. Hmm. We, you can also learn how to do knot tying, and we have nautical talks on board. Mm -hmm. You can take the helm with the captain's permission, of course, so you can feel you're the captain for the day. If you want, you can help to set the sails. If not, you just watch and have your cocktail. So mm -hmm. really, it depends on you, your vacation, your pace. You can participate to the nautical activities or not. Awesome. And we also have what we call soft entertainment on board. So pretty much like a river cruise, I would say. So if mm -hmm. you've already been in a, in, a, in a river cruise, so very intimate ships, we bring local entertainment on board as well to immerse yourself in the destination. And also our crew that organize special nights, such as white nights, uh, pirate nights, talent show. So it's a, lot of, it's a lot of fun during the evenings as well. Uh, we also include in all our sailings, uh, water sports. So that's the best way to enjoy the ocean. So yeah. we include snorkeling, kayaking, paddle boarding, water skiing, sailing. So, so many activities. We have a sports team on board mm -hmm. that can help you with all those equipment. And here is a quote from a past guest that I would like to share with you. It's, it was on our Facebook page mm -hmm. and I couldn't agree more uh, with, uh, with this guest. And he goes, there is truly no experience as thrilling as a clipper ship voyage. The sail away is magical. The food is awesome. Staff, fabulous. Once you have sailed on a clipper, you will never go back to the big ships. Sailing is for your heart and soul. Oh, that's it's beautiful, good. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's so a good that's, writer. That's good. Yeah, that's really uh, the feeling that you have once you once you sail with us. Mm -hmm. So now let's move on to the, our fleet. So all the details about the beautiful uh, Royal Clipper, which, are, which is our biggest ship in, in our fleet. She looks small here, but just for you to have an idea, she has the size of a football field and a half. Oh. So it's a massive sailing ship. Yeah. And of course we look like a toy if we compare to the other ships. And we <laughs> like that because we can go to the tiny little ports that the, the other ships cannot go, mm -hmm. right? And uh, we have five masts, and you can see here 54,000 square feet of sails. So can you imagine 54,000 square feet of sails above you? My That's a really magical. It is. And we actually use those sails to move the ship. So authentic mm -hmm. sailing experience. Again, that's something very different. And only 227 guests. So a very, very uh, intimate product. Wow. Here is the inside part. So you're not expecting to see a beautiful three-story atrium in a, in a sailing ship, right? In a sailing vessel. 
We also have three swimming pools and it's an actual working vessel. So you're gonna see a lot of ropes. You're gonna see a lot of people working uh, to move the ship. So that's really, uh, every time you're in the deck watching, there's something going on. Uh, so here's the inside as well. So we have the beautiful Tropical Lounge. As you can see, the decor is what we call sailing chic, nautical chic. We're gonna see a lot of nautical colors, a lot of mahogany. Remember, those are replicas of the golden ships. So really, mm -hmm. really authentic experience. And another thing that is unique about the Royal Clipper is that we have um, private balconies in 14 of our uh, staterooms. So mm -hmm. that's very unique in a sailing ship. Usually we do not get a uh, private balcony. So if you would like to have your private balcony, mm -hmm. go outside, have your coffee, your glass of wine outside. That's a beautiful, beautiful cabin. So the deluxe suite with yeah. your own private balcony. Yes, you'll definitely have to book early to get that one. I imagine they sell out like hotcakes. So make sure you exactly. sure go to me. Yeah, it's info sunshinetravel.com if you wanted to contact me because I think it's going to be hard to get those 14 and we want to get it's make sure that you get the one that you'd like. That's a very good point. Yes, mm -hmm. call, call Kathleen and book in advance because those are very, very popular cabins. Yes. We also have the standard cabins that I would like to show you, yeah. and you can see it's Ocean View, and it's with portholes. Remember, again, it's a yacht. It's a, a um, like a yacht cabin in a sailing mm -hmm. ship, so it's okay to have portholes. You're going to have a lot of space for storage, so you do not worry about that, mm -hmm. and you're not going to spend a lot of time in, in your cabin, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So really, you're not, you do not need a, a big, big cabin. Yes. If you want one, we do have two uh, owner suites, so they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. As you can see, a lot of mahogany here. And this one can accommodate up to four guests at the same time. So maybe for a family, that's a good, good product. Only mm -hmm. two owner suites. So again, book in advance. <laughs> yes, <laughs> those absolutely. Are very, those yeah, are it very... looks so opulent with those dark, beautiful colors and the yellow that's popping. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. We also have a spa on board mm -hmm. and uh, that's a very special spa because those portholes are actually under the water. So when you're doing your massage, you can see the fishes and everything. So in, with the cabins, the portholes are not under the water, okay? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna always have a, a ocean view. But in the spa and in the fitness room, the portholes are under the water. So it's really a, a different experience of the mm -hmm. Captain Nemo spa. I invite you to go uh, to have a special treatment there. Mm -hmm. We also have the marina platform, so you can enjoy all the nautical uh, sports that I told you really right, right from uh, this uh, marina platform. Mm -hmm. Now moving on to the other ships. So we have two, uh, the two sister ships, so a little mm -hmm. bit smaller, Star Clipper and Star Flyer. Uh, they have the size, the size of a football field, end zone to end zone. So the Royal Clipper was a football field and a half. Those, they're a football field, end zone to end okay. zone. So smaller, but still massive yeah. sailing, yeah. right? With four masts and uh, 16 sails. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, two swimming pools, mm -hmm. 83 cabins. So very intimate experience. The tropical bar, which is the heartbeat of the ship, where you're going to meet for your uh, short excursions, for your nautical talks, where you're going to have your, your cocktails of the day, etc. And you're going to meet people. Mm -hmm. This is the inside part. So same style, same decor, very elegant, nautical mm -hmm. chic, the beautiful dining room and the deluxe cabin. So uh, we do not have private balconies on the smaller one, so that's mm -hmm. important, but we do have the deluxe with a big window. So if you want a big window, you have to book the deluxe cabin yes. and also the standard cabins with the portholes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now moving on, uh, where do we sail? So talking mm -hmm. about destinations, uh, we do not have time to go into all the mm -hmm. destinations, right? But I'm going to just give you a little yeah. bit of an overview. Oh, no worries. We'll and, do it next time we meet for sure. So make sure you guys are subscribed because these are phenomenal. So yes. Exactly. We have an amazing, amazing itineraries. Mm -hmm. So I really like this picture. Wow. Well, Croatia, Dubrovnik, very popular destination. And as you can see here, we are very close to the old port. So because we are small, we can just simply drop the anchor here and tender until the old town. So in 10 minutes or less, you are in the old town of Dubrovnik. 
So it's not that you're going to lose a lot of time in the mm -hmm. port and then you have to disembark and then take a bus or a car and then you drive, I don't know, one hour to get to the port. So you're going to lose a lot of your time in the destination. With Star Clippers, we have those special access because we're mm -hmm. small. We can simply drop the anchor and you can tender back to the ship, to the old town, back to the ship, to the old town mm -hmm. all day long. So yeah. that's a very... Uh, unique experience you're going to have to enjoy the destination. This happens in Croatia, but in a lot of our ports as well. Right. Okay. And that's really great because being such a small ship, oh, I love that picture. Ooh. Um, being such a small ship, you really can tender people back and forth so quickly. Um, I just exactly. spent a week or so in Iceland this past summer, and I we stopped in one of the ports, and I was on a smaller ship, and we um, were there with another large one. I think there was about four thousand people on that on that ship, wow. and uh, when we were going back to go back on the ship, I'm like, oh my goodness, there's a long line, and I looked, and I'm like, oh, that's not our line. We just walked right on our tender and they probably had to wait five or six tenders before they got to the front of the line. And exactly. I don't want to waste my time in line. I want to spend my time exploring and uh, being on Star Clippers, you're just going to get right to the heart of that area so much faster. I love it. Yeah, 100 percent. I totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. So uh, now uh, we where are we sailing? So during winter time, we have two ships in the Caribbean. Yes. So we have two round trips from Barbados, so Windward and Grenadine Islands, and two round trips from St. Martin, Leeward and Treasure Islands. And again, because we are small, we go to places that the other ships do not go. So our Caribbean itinerary, maybe you're thinking, oh, I've been to Caribbean, I don't know, 10 times or more. Mm -hmm. I want to do something different. Have a look at our itineraries because we go to the very special ports uh, such as Bekia, BVI, Ile de Sainte, so very, very unique destinations. Yeah. Right? Yes. All and we were talking mm -hmm. uh, just before you said you saw our ship in Barbados, right, I Kathleen? Did. Yes. Oh, it was stunning. Yeah, I was in Barbados and, and she was disembarking in the evening before we did. And so we had a chance for her to come sail right in front of us. And I was just on her balcony going, oh, this is beautiful. And it was the Star Clippers. It was just stunning going by. I'm like, and you know what? Not even a real noise. Like there was no engine noise. Yeah. There was, it was just gliding. It was beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. So it was the Royal Clipper. That's the one she yes. does it, the Barbados itinerary. Mm -hmm. And what is nice in the Caribbean as well is that every uh, other week, the Royal Clipper and the the Star Flyer meet and we they race against each other. So it's a lot of fun. Every other week they meet in the Caribbean and they're going to race against each other. So every oh. guest, most of the guests come on back and then cheer for the ship. It's a mm -hmm. lot of fun. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's great. Another picture with the tiny little uh, sailboat here. So mm -hmm. you can compare the difference. They're really massive sailing ships. Absolutely. And we are excited now because we have a new destination. So during winter, we have two ships in the Caribbean and mm -hmm. one ship in Central America. Wow. So we have beautiful itineraries in Costa Rica, Panama, and Nicaragua. So very nice itineraries exactly. over there, yeah. including the Panama Canal. So if you want to sail through the Panama Canal, what mm -hmm. an amazing experience in a small uh, sailing vessel. It's a very nice 14 nights itinerary that sail through the Panama Canal. Okay, mm -hmm. that's a new, a new one. So mm -hmm. from December up to March, we are in the Caribbean and in Central America. Beautiful. Then we move uh, all the three ships to the Met. So we do the crossing mm -hmm. and actually we sell the crossing and it's a very popular. So if you were looking for an adventure, mm -hmm. uh, you can do the crossing from the Caribbean until the Met. And we're going to be there from April until October. Okay, mm -hmm. so the summer season, we have a long, uh, long season in the Met. 91 destinations with only three ships. So we go to a lot of ports mm -hmm. wow. and we, we have beautiful itineraries just for you to have an idea. So France, of course, our headquarter is in Monaco. So we have a very special spot in Monaco, mm -hmm. including during the Formula One. So if you're interested in the Formula One, we have an amazing itinerary mm -hmm. uh, over there during the Grand Prix. 
We also go to Corsica that I really recommend. We go to 12 different ports in Corsica. Mm. So amazing beaches, great food, great wine. It's an amazing place to go. And we say we like to be the biggest ship in the harbor because we go to the yacht harbors. So okay. the Bonifacio Harbor, which is really, really famous in Corsica, we are really the biggest ship in the harbor. And that's, mm -hmm. uh, that's amazing. Italy, beautiful Italy, another very hot spot to mm -hmm. everybody. Uh, we go to a lot of places, including the beautiful Amalfi Coast, uh, Sicily, Sardinia, and even Venice, as I told you, because we're we're green, we can sail through the Grand Canal. We can still sail through the Grand Canal. Oh, no so way. can you imagine that you're in yes. Venice and you're sailing? That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So uh, Croatia as well. So we go to eight different ports in Croatia, not only Dubrovnik, we really do uh, other ports, very popular. Uh, we go to Montenegro as well. And actually our best seller, it's a 10 nights itinerary, Italy, Croatia, and Montenegro. So have a look. This is a beautiful, beautiful itinerary that we have. And Greece, another very popular destination. Uh, we have beautiful itineraries there combining Greece and Turkey, including the famous ones such as Santorini, but you can see we go to other islands as well. And this one that I love, we go to Spetses, which is a very uh, tiny little island in Greece that we do not have cars. So it's only by boat and carriage, ha horses. So that's a very unique I island. Yeah. And this is my favorite one, the Mamma Mia highlights, because we go to the islands from the movie, the Mamma Mia <laughs> movie. So Skiados and Skoplos, those are the islands from the Mamma Mia movie. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there. This is just a few of them, but have a look at our website and then you can contact, of course, Kathleen. She yes. knows everything and she can find the best, uh, the best itinerary for you. Yes, absolutely. And I have a very special uh, perk for your for your guests, Kathleen, yes. as well, because you're part of Virtuoso. So mm -hmm. uh, our travel, travel partners, your clients will get a special amenity package. So I told you, you always get $150 on board mm -hmm. credit per cabin in all our sailings. But yes. on those select sailings that I can share with you, of course. So from December 2023 up to March 2025, we have Caribbean, we have Costa Rica, and we have uh, the Med as well. Your clients will get an hour massage per person, a three hours Wi-Fi, a Wi-Fi package, a bottle of champagne, and also the credit on board. So oh, goodness. Very nice um, package for your yes, clients. Okay. Absolutely. Oh, that's wonderful. Because I mean, how nice it would be is to get that nice massage and looking out the window and looking at the ocean and the marine life. And oh, my goodness, that's incredible. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yes. <laughs> and also because uh, we have an even special uh, condition for you because you're part of Travelo, right? Yes, host yeah, my host agency. agency. Yes. You're gonna get two hundred dollars per cabin onboard credit if you book until November thirtieth. Okay. So for uh, new bookings until uh, November thirtieth, mm -hmm. you're gonna get so fifty dollars uh, Canadian dollars more, right? So two hundred dollars mm -hmm. onboard credit per cabin. So incredible! Book. Wow. Now is the time to book. We are mm -hmm. currently uh, open uh, open for sale until summer 2025 we have just launched our summer 2025 so we have beautiful itineraries uh, in europe new uh, destinations that we have included for 2025 okay beautiful yes so really welcome aboard uh, our crew is very excited to welcome you aboard and your guests and of course yourself kathleen you have to experience this yes, uh, sailing absolutely. adventure and yeah. come sail away with us. You're gonna have a lifetime experience. I can I can tell you that. Oh, okay. It's amazing. That's so beautiful. I loved seeing those destinations and how you really get into the heart of the area. Um, that's something I talk about a lot and sustainability and making sure that you know you're getting there and you're not harming the waters that you're in. And to win that award is just incredible. Wow. <laughs> That's yeah, we are great. so proud and sustainability is a really, really important for us. So yeah, you're we are yeah. going to places, but we are still we're not destroying those those places, right? Yeah. <laughs> keeping them perfect for, for all the future guests along the way. 
So amazing. And thank you so much for putting all that together. That was just beautiful. I love that brand overview. I know that we don't have a lot of time in 30 minutes. So it's probably hard for you to cram it all in. Yeah. Um, we will be meeting again and we will definitely be diving into some of those destinations a little more, a little more deeply. So thank you so much. Um, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much, Kathleen. Thank you, everyone. So do not hesitate. Contact Kathleen. You're going to get a lifetime experience and come stay away with us. We are waiting for you. Thank you very Absolutely. much. Absolutely. OK, thank you. Bye. Goodbye, guys. Have a great week. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's uh, cruise chat. It was amazing to see some of those images and just to see these beautiful, beautiful areas that they sail. I love, I love small ship cruising and I love how it can get you really into the heart of the destination. But more than that, these sailing ships, oh my goodness, to have all those beautiful, beautiful sails and just, you know, going the wherever the wind blows, it takes you and it's so beautiful. Oh. I really look forward to touring one of their ships. I'm hoping I get a chance to tour their ships when I head down to Barbados in November. If I don't, we're going to try again in February because I'll be heading back to Barbados. And I really hope I get a chance to tour their ships and I can bring you guys just really nice um, images and, and vlogs for that. And uh, if you're listening to this on our Cruising the Waves podcast and you want to see some of the pictures that we talked about, head on over to our YouTube channel. It's Plenty of Sunshine Travel on YouTube. And by all means, you're going to see all these beautiful images. And the other way, if you wanted to listen to these podcasts on the go, you're going to find us on all your favorite streaming channels. So just head up and look for Cruising the Waves podcast. And I'm so happy you guys are going to follow along with us on either platform. Thank you for being here. It means the world to me. Thank you so very much. Um, and I really appreciate you guys subscribing. I know that I try to get these videos out every Thursday or Friday. Um, my clients are my number one priority at all times. So there are times that I'm very busy helping you guys with your bookings to give you quotes to do all that. And sometimes I'm a little bit delayed putting out the videos, but that's why. And it's not that I don't have the content. I have a ton of episodes booked. Um, I'm actually booked all the way into April for all of these. So there's a lot of bookings that we're going to be coming up and a lot of shows, but just make sure you're subscribed and you hit that bell and that way you'll find out when they come out. It's just the best way to get that notification. So thank you so much for joining us. I will see you guys next week when I meet with another cruise line. I'm very excited about all of this and I can't wait to see you guys. And I hope that you're following along and you subscribe too. So we'll see you next week or on board. Bye for now.